At McDonald's restaurants, customers love their fries. It all starts on the farm. McDonald's uses about 6.9 billion pounds of nice potatoes globally every year. The potatoes are coated in plastic to keep them fresh, and carefully train workers hand cut potatoes for $60 an hour. This is the world's most high-tech potato cannon, which atomizes the potatoes at Mach 2. This NVIDIA GeForce render shows the sputification process in amazing detail. Then the shoestring flood brings in holy bounty in the form of fresh-cut potatoes. Sometimes the conveyor belt shakes a lot, sometimes it doesn't. But either way, these potatoes come out absolutely soaked, helping McDonald's fries maintain their signature sogginess. Optical scanners check any fries for signs of terrorism and racially profile each one in accordance with TSA standards. The machine automatically snags any fry with a foreign sounding name. Now we can finally do some fucking cooking. These big round Berthas soak the potatoes in steaming hot water until they're just about to burst. And burst a load of flavor these little guys do as they're sent to the drying conveyor belt, the sexiest conveyor belt in the factory. Then they roll into a bubbling hot deep fryer for a quick cooking. This ensures McDonald's employees will have as little work to do as possible to fuck up your fries, and yet they'll still find a way. It's now out of the frying pan and into the growth tunnel, giving the fries one last opportunity to sprout roots to prove they're alive so they'll be removed from the assembly line by Harvard graduate assembly line workers. This plant supplies fries to McDonald's all around the nation, but neglects to pack them with instructions, meaning you'll get the fries the same way at every McDonald's location, mildly cold and with not enough salt. 